All right, so the GOP, as we all know, has flown way too close to the sun. And, you know, after taking away women's reproductive rights, that is 167 million plus Americans that just lost their constitutionally protected reproductive rights. 167 million, okay? Rovember is coming this November. Women are signing up to vote in record numbers. This is going to be the death knell for the GOP, in my opinion. It, it really is. And it's them being done with democracy altogether. The only thing that's going to be left, if they get their way, is a hollow shell shelled out democracy it's already kind of there but even more so if you can imagine that if these guys ever get power again at the federal or state level even local level you see democracy can't work for the gop anymore it really can't they can't win on ideas they can't win on concepts of social and economic progress. They are a fundamentally regressive party, economically and socially. And with the upcoming generations being more progressive than generations we've seen since FDR, this is all bad news for the GOP going forward with elections. They cannot win like they think they can. They don't know they've flown too close to the sun. They never know when it's too late. I mean, just look at Trump. People are just now piecing together like, what? You know, that guy might be, he might be a teensy bit corrupt. He might be a guy that doesn't care about the law. And for the past seven years, it's never even been considered for some people. And trust me, I know these people. They're my family. They're my friends. They're my neighbors. I know these people. I don't know about you, but I know many of them. I know how they think. And they're just now considering, you know, that Trump guy might not be what I thought he was. Whatever. Whatever. It's all after the fact, okay? Fly too close to the sun, get burned, and maybe you'll learn a lesson. Maybe you just stay ignorant. I don't know. But when Rovember hits, and it's going to hit pretty hard, the GOP has to be done with democracy. And the Trumpism template of saying democratic elections are rigged and, and, and pushing the big lie at every level has to be the GOP playbook from now on because th they've lost their support. They've lost so much credibility with the public, with, with Trump, with unpopular decisions like Roe versus Wade being overturned. Um, and then they're coming for gay marriage, they're coming for contraception, they're coming for all these other things that are extremely popular and useful in society. Once again, flying too close to the sun, not caring about outcome. They're very goal oriented. They don't care about the results. But they have to be done with democracy to, to, to be a functioning party anymore. That's why we saw at CPAC uh, uh, the, the Hungarian uh, president, Orban, Viktor Orban, you know, setting up at CPAC, the Republican convention, the biggest Republican convention in the country, bringing his playbook and merging it with the GOP playbook with Tucker Carlson going over there, promoting Orban, promoting their degraded democracy, promoting his bigotry, promoting, uh, you know, the, the just the worst of the worst, right? So the GOP 
The thing for the GOP is so problematic is democracy is popular in the United States, okay? It's very popular. So they can't get rid of it. We know they can't get rid of it. But what they can do, what they can do is degrade it. They can undermine it. If it's going to be in place, they're going to use it and abuse it <clears throat> as much as possible to get people back on their side. And they're going to do that by saying every major election's rigged. It's just going to be, I mean, hopefully we have enough people by now that can reason honestly and see through that. I don't know anymore. But that, that's got to be the playbook from now on. There's no other choice because the GOP cannot win on ideas. They cannot win on social or economic ideas with upcoming generations who are overwhelmingly progressive. One month, November. Let's do this.